So this thing murdered at the box office, at least in the US. Worldwide, not so much. But I'll be honest, it didn't look that interesting to me. But I figured it might still be fun. I mean, usually when a movie is a hit, especially a surprise hit like this, there's something to it. And even if I don't like the movie, I can usually see why other people might. But this one, I don't know. It's just so incredibly boring. There's nothing interesting about it. I mean, the writing is actually pretty bad sometimes. Like genuinely bad. The dialogue is bland and sometimes really clunky. They over explain everything. The exposition in some of the scenes, especially the first one in New York, is off the charts. And the whole story is dressed up to seem more complicated than it actually is. It's boy meets girl, boy's family doesn't approve, they have to figure it out. That's the story. And we We've all seen it a million times before, and this movie has no reason to be two hours long. It's super bloated. I mean, there's a whole subplot with the sister that doesn't really have anything to do with the main plot. That whole part could have been cut out. The acting for the most part is just kind of passable. I mean, they do a decent job, but I think the script just doesn't give them anything to work with. So it's kind of hard to judge how much of that is on the actors and how much is the script. And it's not funny either, it tries to be. And Aquafina made me crack a smile a couple of times. But that's about it. I'm pretty sure I genuinely didn't laugh once in a two hour movie. That is pretty bad. But even her character isn't that funny most of the time. But at least she's nice and kinda amusing. Because most characters in this range from passive aggressive and petty to straight up obnoxious assholes. Very few of them are even remotely likable or relatable or even just interesting. I mean, the main girl is the only one who's really given any depth, but even she's not really that interesting. She's just a nice, kind, caring person. So yeah, I really don't know what people see in this movie. Is it just the romance? I've seen so many romance movies that are much better than this. To me, the presentation and the visuals were by far the most interesting part. They'd obviously been watching Ocean's Eleven because it took quite a few cues from that especially early on. The jazzy music, the snappy editing, the character introductions. I like that. At least it was a bit different. But most of that's in like the first 30 minutes. The further into the movie we get, the less of that's in there. But the movie also looks expensive, like really expensive. I mean, just the cinematography, the sets, the costumes, everything looks expensive. And they really sell the crazy rich part. But it's just a 30 million dollar movie. And I'm guessing most of that had to go to the production. I mean, there's not really any high profile actors in this that want a 20 million dollar paycheck, you know? But yeah, visually, the movie looks very good. They did a great job with that. But somehow, they also managed to make all that excess very boring. Watching people spend millions on parties and stuff should at least be a little bit entertaining. But it's really not. It's kinda boring. The whole movie is just kinda boring. I mean, I didn't outright hate anything about it. I just didn't care about anything going on. It was just more or less two hours of nothing for me. I might as well have been staring at a wall. A really pretty wall with some decent background music. But a wall nonetheless. Also, I might be wrong. But I'm pretty sure there should be a hyphen between crazy and rich in the title. Or a comma. Or there could be periods between the words. You could even throw in an exclamation mark. Or a question mark? Right now though, it's just three random words in a row. And it doesn't actually mean anything. Grammar matters, people. So would I recommend it? Nope, I would not. So probably skip this one. Or don't. I'm not your sugar daddy.